So now inside our employee mapper Java, we are going to create a method and I'm gonna call this public, uh, which will give us the list of employees. And I'm gonna call this get all employees. You can give any name you want. Let me import employee class. Inside this, I'm going to create a session factory and I'm going to open the session. So in order to get the session factory, I'm going to use a util class, which we have created in previous video. I'm going to call open session method, which will give us the SQL session. And I'm gonna call this session. Let me import the SQL session. Now using the session, I'm going to call select list. To this list, we are passing the ID of the select tag, which we have created in the mapper class. So copy this and we're going to pass the ID to the select list method. This will give us the list of employees. I'm gonna call this employee list. And I'm going to call a commit method on this session. And I'm going to close the session. And finally, we are going to return the employee list. Let's save this. In our employee controller, we are going to print the employee list. So what I'll do is before that, we need to add an add repository to our employee mapper. If you go to the controller, I'm going to auto wire the employee mapper. I'm going to call this mapper and I'm going to annotate this with auto wired. Inside this index method, I will make use of this mapper and I'm going to call get all employees. I'm going to print this in the console. Let's save this and I'm going to run the application. Right now, there is no data in our database. Let's add a few records. I'm going to add the ID, one full name, ABC, email, abc at gmail.com, gender, mail, hobbies, cricket, country, India, address, Bangalore. Let's click on this apply, click apply, click finish. So now in our database, we have only one record. So I'm going to open the browser. Let me clear the console and I'll open the browser. I'm going to reload the web page. This time we should expect one record in the console. And now you can see in the console, we are printing one record because in our database, we have only one record. So that is printing in the console. So in the next video, we are going to pass this data to our JSP page. And in the JSP, we are going to create a HTML table and we're going to print the 
data so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video